फोर थ्री टू वन वी आर लाइव नाउ सर यू कैन स्टार्ट गुड इवनिंग आशीष सर हाँ भैया गुड इवनिंग कौन कौन आया यार मुझे दिखता नहीं इसमें सब गुड इवनिंग सर हाँ भाई गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग बॉस हाय आशीष गुड इवनिंग सुंदर गियर हाँ गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग तो गुड इवनिंग आशीष सर डॉक्टर महेश्वरी अरे मालिक सर सर कैसी बात कर रहे हैं आप सर फोन में दिखता नहीं वाली समस्या थी तो बात नहीं सर सर तो कहीं पार्टी में लग रहा है आशीष सर वी स्टार्ट हाँ वाई नॉट वाई नॉट प्लीज ओके सो आई वेलकम एवरी वन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग द लॉन्च वेबिनार फॉर न्यूज लेटर ऑफ ए यू पी नो एट द आउट सेट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑर्थो टीवी स्पेशली डॉक्टर अशोक एंड डॉक्टर नीरज फॉर ऑलवेज गिविंग द प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ वेबिनार्स I think all of us can go to their uh, YouTube channel and find out material, whatever we want for referencing. So, without wasting too much of time, I would like to invite Ashish sir to have a few words regarding this uh, much-awaited the launch of our uh, newsletter of Arthroscopy Association of UP. Ashish sir, please. Um, yeah, please. Uh, very good evening and uh, welcome to all of you, Dr. Jitendra Maishwari sir and uh, Sundar and uh, rest of all are our our. own participants so it's a uh, great day that we are going to launch our newsletter our association is gradually growing and uh, i'm thankful to sundar also he is always with us supporting whatever we have asked for it and he is also coming physically also to the coming our aup annual conference so uh, i must be um, i must congratulate rajat kapu uh, rajat uh, he has done a lot of hard work in uh, uh, bringing this uh, newsletter to the existence and he has done the real job of the editor for the association and uh, gradually we are just uh, growing up like this time we have also started the pre paper session in our conference and i believe from the next time we will be having the oration or uh, something like that uh, from the next time so, so once again i congratulate and ask uh, vinay to kindly proceed with the rest of the things thank you so much sir you have always guided us so rajat uh, you can share your screen rajat has a small yes, presentation regarding uh, how we have proceeded with this newsletter how things started in february of this year and then now in the year of in the month of uh, november we have uh, make it a reality rajat can you yes, share sir. your screen So is my screen is visible? Yeah, yeah, yes, you can yes. see. Yeah. Good evening, all respected seniors and my dear colleagues. To this AUP Arthroscopy Association Uttar Pradesh newsletter pre grand launch webinar. First of all, I welcome you all in this webinar, and I am very thankful and eager to listen a vision of words from all of our legends, stalwarts of arthroscopy from India. respected dr j maheshwari sir uh, dr armugam sir dr sachin tapasvi sir dr roshan bare sir dr sundar rajan sir dr ips obroy sir dr amit joshi sir a small introduction from uh, for myself dr rajat kapoor i am assistant professor in department of orthopedics sn medical college agra uh, i am elected as the editor in 2021 for this association um, my achievements uh, i uh, i am working as a assistant professor in sn medical college uh, since 2016 and i started uh, my work in arthroscopy there in 2017 i organized the first knee and shoulder arthroscopy symposium in 2018 at sn medical college uh, following which i recognized at a certificate of recognition from arthroscopic association uttar pradesh in 2018 and fellowship awarded aup traveling fellowship in 2019 and it's a beautiful thing when a career and passion both are come together rajat your slides are not moving so it is moving no no just share again 
no no i thought sorry. this was all for the first slide so now it is visible yes perfect yeah. go ahead no it's not moving rajat Don't share the screen. Share only the PowerPoint. Okay. Sir. Yeah, that's good. I can you can go like this. So it is visible now. Yeah, yeah, we can see. Yeah, I got the IU Yuva mentorship in uh, uh, Yuva mentor fellowship in two thousand twenty one at IACON, and uh, AK Gupta gold medal in UP Orthocon at Varanasi. for a best paper publication in the multi ligament knee injury and organized an another second uh, workshop on knee and shoulder at uh, on 27 uh, 22nd of may 2022 at agra now over team arthroscopy association uttar pradesh uh, uh, first of all i uh, thankful to dr ashish uh, kumar sir a very humble person our guide our mentor our guru uh who is uh, helping out uh, throughout the time for this uh, newsletter dr arun gupta sir our vice president uh, and a renowned arthroscopic surgeon from agra a very inspiring person dr vinay pandey sir a secretary a up a dynamic person and working from last several months for this newsletter dr uttam garg sir our joint secretary uh, every year conducting a pelvic acetabular workshop and a cadaveric workshop Uh, and a peer review uh, in a peer review committee of igu dr sanjeev kumar sir our treasurer and all our team member i am very thankful to all our team executive team members of aup uh, we also have an executive council member uh, ias uh, respected dr ashutosh agarwal sir uh, who is also renowned arthroscopic surgeon of varanasi and also run fellowship uh, for a young arthroscopic surgeon at uh, their center Mm. Dr. Ajay Verma sir, a professor at MLN Medical College, a renowned arthroplasty and arthroscopy surgeon, and my teachers, Dr. Arunim Sarup sir, Dr. Shivam Sinha sir, uh, from whom I learned arthroscopy at uh, Subhati. We have another special person in this webinar, my mentor, my head of the department, Dr. Uh, C. P. Pal sir, uh, who is uh, presently the editor of J. B. J. D. U. P. O. A. so how we all uh, started uh, working for this this association is started its discussion on its new newsletter uh, from february 2022 since then every team member of aup is very enthusiastic regarding this newsletter dr ashish sir vinay pande sir anup gupta sir and whole team and later on we plan to start uh, this uh, as a journal and journal name is journal of arthroscopy and sports injury so we needed to have uh, board members experience with academic inclination after lot of discussion uh, we finalized this name this is our uh, whole body uh, our associate editor dr ashok sham sir dr vinay pande sir advised national advisory board member of our legends and stalwarts of arthroscopy our uh, editorial board our advisory board up professor dr sc goel sir who is the pioneer uh, orthopedic surgeon and uh, first to start arthroscopy in up dr sanjay shrivastav sir kd tripathi sir dr kapil chut kulshesh sir uh, i also want to thank all our respected senior uh, <clears throat> now this is the first look of our arthroscopic uh, association uttar pradesh newsletter which is going to be physically launched on 5th of november at arthroscopy uh, conclave at kgmu lucknow uh, it's an honor to have learned and legendary board members uh, all legendary board members are with us all are leading names from field of arthroscopy in india and abroad i am again very thankful to them for taking out a valuable time to attend this webinar and um, thank you so much sir thank you now i hand over a mic to uh, dr vinay vinay pande sir thank you so much rajat uh, wonderful i think you have worked very hard to come up with this newsletter i know how hard you have been working for last 6 months thank you so much so can you uh, you can un un share your screen now no 
and i know that you are working together yes sir me and you all the time so i was telling rajat uh, <laughs> he has made phone calls to me i think as much as he would have called me in last 3 years so then <laughs> last one month he has been calling me every day 10 15 calls every doubt the, about me three four missed calls rajat so and the good thing is that uh, sundar will be uh, unveiling your first newsletter at lucknow yeah that's uh, so uh, i think uh, we should proceed now i think uh, i would like dr maheshwari sir who has stood uh, maheshwari sir is there and now he sir has always stood by me for the last maybe 10 12 years i was his his uh, he's my mentor and i was a student he needs no introduction ex aims he was aims faculty at the age of 28 i think and 32 he wrote a book which is still the best selling book of india and always an inspiration he was much ahead of his time in 90s i think he started knee and shoulder clinic when nobody was talking about sub specialty practice so that way he is much much ahead of time and credentials are absolutely unparalleled maheshwari sir i think you should be critical that is your asset that you are always critical about everything so you must say few words which we should be careful about when we are launching with this newsletter uh, whatever our views uh, your views please share with us maheshwari sir okay <clears throat> thank you vinay uh, i'm i'm so proud to see up association growing so well and particularly uh, you taking so much active interest uh, that's something uh, if i can say whoever has worked with me should carry that torch that way be in the front row take the initiative and fuse people to do more and more i'm getting old now so i'm not that active but i still inside me i'm young and i you would see me sitting in the front row all the time and keen to learn every time so i am particularly impressed by arthroscopy association of up from the way it has grown uh, last time i you invited me to a session where they were talking about meniscus suturing and things and the way they presented the whole show including the videos the how they were well edited it was equal to any international presentation so to me it was a very pleasant uh, moment to see that now you know arthroscopy has grown so much i remember the days when we had our first arthroscopy society meeting in coimbatore and we were about 30 arthroscopic surgeons from all over india which included three from delhi and now you can imagine it was more than 1000 in Coimbatore uh, last month and obviously work is growing up people are talking about it and you, not not only it, it for some time arthroscopy used to be drama baji shoshe baji people who just say i'll do arthroscopy but they will not be good at it but today i think people have learned it they have attended meetings and their fundas are clear their skills are excellent and i can see arthroscopy as a great future in india now regarding the newsletter that's a wonderful idea and let me let me offer i would like to write an article on my becoming of an arthroscopic surgeon so i remember my first 50 arthroscopies were done looking at the scope with my eyes there was no camera so it is a very interesting journey from starting arthroscopy look, looking at the camera with only four hand instruments no shaver nothing and from there now what we do is amazing so maybe i will get into a writing mood and you know make it a rather interesting write up how i grew as an arthroscopic surgeon to motivate youngsters that if you want to do something you can do it despite no facility despite no training if you have the zeal to do something achieve something you will find the way to do it so with that kind of a message i would like to contribute maybe one of the journals a light hearted article on how i became an arthroscopic surgeon and my journey maybe it will help some youngsters to become positive because a lot of people tell me where do we get trained how do we get trained yes everything is important but it's not the only way you have to have a great zeal to do things i think that should be enough for today and i congratulate the up association for being very progressive 
you guys are young very very active and always think of new things and dr ashish is a perfect senior to guide you all and i've seen him is very humble and is always there to motivate juniors very good all that setup will make it grow great and you will do well my best wishes thank you thank, so you. Much, thank you thank you so much sir wonderful i think uh, to get an article from you would be a privilege for us so i think rajat will coordinate and we will have an article from you regarding the journey of arthroscopy thank you sir. so thank you so much maheshwari sir it's a privilege always to be with you to listen to you uh, i think uh, sundar sir with us and he has been working with ganga hospital for last 25 years maybe sir is a course director for ganga arthroscopy course uh, which is uh, happening every second year and i think lot of uh, arthroscopy surgeon has been trained uh, visit that ganga arthroscopy course to get some training Sundar sir, I think you must uh, tell your heart out regarding uh, how we should proceed about this newsletter and your views about this. Sundar sir, please. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Nai. Uh, I mean, at the outset, um, I would congratulate. I mean, the Professor Ashish Kumar, and uh, he is very good friend of me, and uh, Vinay, Astosh, uh, Rajat, and the whole team of uh, UP. I think is very active, especially the last two years. i feel that it's more close association like a tamil nadu arthroscopy society i see a lot of similarity between our tna tamil nadu arthroscopy society and uh, association of uh, up almost we are working in the same uh, uh, level uh, monthly meetings and uh, interactions and i found that once we started the tamil nadu arthroscopy society even though i do the indian arthroscopy society meeting every month we also do tamil nadu arthroscopy society meeting which i found it was very useful because they are all very youngsters they want to just communicate directly with you especially when you have a close uh, circle like around 30 people or 40 people from tamil nadu and you can speak in your local language so and they are more comfortable in communicating with that with that i found that that association meetings are very very useful i found that same way your up is uh, doing and uh, vinay is uh, started this meetings and i'm i'm sure that they're doing excellently conducting every month without any break that is that itself is in a big record so i would congratulate all the team of uh, up Arth arthroscopy association members at the same time I, we also started the newsletter first and I, i started the newsletter when i once i became a secretary when the covid was there because first one year we couldn't do anything so which we could make the new status every month after this meetings with the case reports with review of literature it's a very good opportunity for the youngsters to do the writings before you write for a journal it is always is good to write to the newsletter first so you get used to this writings and get uh, awarded so that you will be get used to write for your journal so so that will give you a lot of enthusiasm to write up for more and more so i'm sure that uh i'm think i think it's going to be um, uh once in three months evenai um, yes sir yes, once in three months it's, it's it's a good time it's a good time because uh, so slowly you can uh, maybe you can increase for once in two months or yeah, every month also if the it depends upon the enthusiasm from the youngsters i'm sure it is going to be a great success uh, like your monthly meeting and uh, i will be there all the time with you uh, um, any issues any any uh, write ups i will we will also do on joining and uh, writing up uh, newsletters for you and um, please approach me anytime we are there to guide you and help you and be with you and thank you for calling for this meeting also thank you so thank much you so thank much. you sundar sir wonderful i think uh, uh, i attended one uh, webinar with the tamil nadu arthroscopy association and from there i got this idea of monthly meeting i think bupesh was instrumental in telling me that these monthly meetings though it is tough but still they are doing it and they, from there i got this idea of this monthly meeting that the aup should also do thank yes. you so much sundar sir now yes. we have amravati sir with us i was waiting for him to join and i think he is a tremendous academician with more than 60 publications if i'm right and his work on uh, biceps stenodesis is, is landmark he has lot of publication about technique of biceps stenodesis and he has been on igo editorial board so a perfect candidate for being part of our board of uh, newsletter members abravat sir uh, uh, please say a few words uh, regarding this newsletter that we have launched and uh, have your views about this amravati sir yeah uh, thank you dr ashish uh, dr vinay and all the members of the up uh, scientific board 
that uh, it is your vision to see this uh, newsletter coming up to showcase uh, the work that is being done in the state of UP. It is not only that, first thing that I would want to acknowledge is that it is one of the most vibrant state society for arthroscopy and for education of young arthroscopy surgeons where they get a platform for them to showcase what they are doing in the field of arthroscopy. Having said that, having said that, I would like to uh, say that uh, yes, writing is an important part of uh, an extension of what you are doing in the theatre. So unless we write and critic our own work and uh, we'll be open to people to say that, yes, this is what we have done and then people will read your work and then they will critic for good so that next time when you do the same procedure, maybe you'll do a little better. And that is a welcome sign for any association to be open for being critic. It is also important to increase the value of the association by being a, a body which publishes their scientific work um, uh, regularly so that uh, we also would know the pattern of injuries that you see and how you are managing is uh, everybody can learn from each other because not one technique is um, a key for uh, getting a better results in, uh, uh, for example, in the ACL. ACL surgeries have been down the line from time immemorial, but still in the literature, if you go and search some or the other paper, do come up on the uh, prominent journals on why ACL should be done like this, how the ACL outcome can be bettered. So the last word is not yet told on what a procedure can be done and how it can be done. And it is also important to have people on board who have got experience like Sundar Rajan, Sachin, Dr. Maheshwari, Dr. Amit Joshi, who can add value to how the um, uh, papers can be written and how the youngsters can be guided in the direction of uh, doing the right things for the right problem. And yes, uh, uh, we all are born in imperfection. I'm not saying that everybody will uh, do a perfect job every time they go in for doing a surgery. Yes, but there is a room for improvement. And yes, uh, the difference between learning and learned, I say, you keep the room open when you are in the learning mode uh, so that every time we can mold and get better. So being better is always the, the mode uh, of way of learning. And if you are learned, there is no scope for anyone to you know be molded to learn new things. So yes, writing newsletters is a good way of uh, uh, communicating with the other state bodies and uh, taking a cue from, as uh, Vinay was mentioning, from the um, Tamil Nadu Association, wherein uh, they were more forthright in writing a newsletter to bring about uh, how each surgeon does a procedure. It also is a welcome uh, sign that uh, this association is open for uh, learning and uh, for inputs from other parts of the country, which is so many million of uh, people in our country who can contribute. And thank you, Vinay, for having uh, me here. And thank you for such a young and a vibrant body who will focus on uh, doing new things uh, and uh, learning from each other would be an option. Thank you so much again for having me. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you for kind words. Uh, now the next is Dr. Roshan Wade. Uh, need no introduction. A very famous Arthroscopy Academy course run by Dr. Roshan Wade since, I think, 2015. And I've been part of every Arthroscopy, uh, Arthroscopy Academy course this year has run. He's very uh, helpful, academic hands-on training, which happens to be part of Arthroscopy Academy program. I would tell everyone to be part of it. So there's a great learning program that academic course, which is part of Arthroscopy Academy meet. Sir also runs an Arthroscopy study group on WhatsApp. I think that's a wonderful group because a lot of uh, knowledge sharing happens, a lot of good discussion happens on that WhatsApp study group. It's very difficult to enter that group, but once you have entered it, you will learn a lot of things. So, Roshan, sir, I think you are still there. Uh, network is working. So, you can say a few yeah. words. He's, you are a wonderful friend. I must say you are a wonderful mentor and a friend. Always, whenever somebody is need, Dr. Roshan is there. So, please say a few uh, words, Roshan, sir. Thank you, Vinay. Thank you for those kind words. Uh, I'm enjoying my life in Goa. Uh, I think uh, AAUP, as Rajkumar has said, is always in a vibrant body. In fact, uh, I don't know how many people know 
I have been a part of this AOP for quite a long time. In fact, since the inception in 2015, when I was a secretary of Indian Arthroscopy yeah, yeah. Society, Correct. and I told many uh, people from UP that satta ka marg UP se jata hai. So unless you have arthroscopy uh, uh, very popular in Uttar Pradesh, you can't get the more and more IS members. So our vision was to make more and more IS members. more and more arthroscopy surgeon in up and i think this is a again a big step towards uh, making up number one in arthroscopy uh, making its newsletter in fact i will go one step ahead they should start their own journal because uh, journal gives more recognition than newsletter a newsletter could be a first baby step towards making a journal because i remember when indian arthroscopy society is to have its own newsletter and eventually we converted into a journal which is very popular now and i'm very sure years to come down that journal is very popular similarly uh, aup can start this own journal which can give them a very important mileage and a very important uh, what do you say the uh, advantage over the other societies who don't have such journal because uh, up in arthroscopy is little laid back don't feel bad but that's a reality because uh, uh, still now we don't see many shoulder surgeons from up uh, there are very few knee knee scopy surgeon in the population of 32 33 uh, crores i think we need at least uh, 4000 or 5000 arthroscopy surgeon and that's uh, where up is lacking behind so i'm very sure the uh, with the leadership from dr ashish dr vinay Dr. Mozam, then Dr. Uh, Sanjay, then Dr. Arun. Uh, uh, the academics will grow in uh, UP. Arun is a very good friend of mine. In fact, we discuss so many things together whenever we meet. Uh, Dr. Ashish is also a very good friend. We discuss uh, many things about arthroscopy whenever we meet. And uh, I think uh, I have a special connect for UP. Special love. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Achyut sir. Uh, thank you, Roshan boss, uh, for these words. Uh, Dr. Amit Joshi from Nepal. Uh, I think he is semi Nepal and semi Indian now. You will see Amit Joshi sir in every conference that you go, and I think he needs no introduction. I think I must mention few things that he has contributed, and one must go through it. His technique on AC joint repair, then AC joint reconstruction. All these are published. One can go, and it's a wonderful technique, very cheap technique, very user friendly technique. Then it's outside in meniscal repair technique. then is acl avulsion technique i also have an acl avulsion technique which is published so uh, i was uh, just reading about it and then uh, went through uh, dr joshi's technique then he has just now published an article about meniscus reconstruction using semi t uh, graft i discussed with sir also about this so so many techniques he has published in last 7 10 years i think they all techniques are worth visiting worth reading uh, that can be a reference when one is attempting some surgery Uh, Mr. Uh, please go ahead. You are a great accommodation. I admire you a lot. So please say a few words regarding our newsletter program. Uh, thank you very much, Binay and uh, Ashish Bai and all the you know uh, my friends, colleagues. Um, I can see Sundar Rajan, my sorry, sorry, somewhere there, you know. And then probably, as you said, um, uh, probably I'll seek next time I come to India. I'll seek for a citizenship in India, you know, because my every month I have to. I have to be there because I can't say no. And then when Binay offered me uh, to help in this, you know, newsletter, I couldn't say no because I have uh, I I'll not congratulate you for its you know inaugural edition. I'll congratulate you when you publish it uh, consecutively for five times, seven times, you know, because that is the experience we had in our our country in Nepal. So we started. and there were few enthusiastic uh, people like me when i was secretary of uh, arthroscopy society of nepal and then i continued till the time i was secretary very young and energetic i continued for about 2 years and then gradually it fizzled out you know and then getting it regularly published is challenging rather than having its first publication so whatever you publish either it's a newsletter or it's a journal continuity is a process and i'm so happy to see binay razat under the guidance of you know ashish that these people are taking over and then young guns only can carry this forward we old people now you know i'm not that old but older people 
can suggest, can give you a guideline, but always try to groom younger people. Not only Rajat should take all this responsibility or Binay should take all this responsibility. Try to have group of people, you know, 10, 12 people who will carry it for the another 10 years or 12 years. So my best wishes and I'm always there to help you out because I don't feel that I'm a, you know, a, a person from outside the outside India or a, a person from Nepal. I'm as as close or as Indian as you guys are. And I'm also a Nepali person, you know, so I can give you a little bit of inter, inter, international flavor with, you know, Indian spices. So count on me. I'm always there to help you out. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. I keep reading your articles very regularly with your, I search your name and a new article every six months so that I will find some new study from your side. Thank you so much, sir. And I would like to invite Bupesh. Are you there? Bupesh? Bupesh? I think he's... Uh... Bupesh, you there? I think I learned uh, a lot uh, when I joined this uh, AUP as a secretary. I learned a lot from Bupesh. When I, can you hear me? I'm, I'm able to hear you well. Yeah, Bupesh. So I was just telling, I learned a lot from you. So when I joined and your few uh, statements with me when we were like uh, planning this Tamil Nadu course. So I learned a yeah. lot from you. So you must speak something about this newsletter thing that we are launching. Because you have an experience about this. You have been running webinars monthly and you have been very religious about it. And uh, so you must be able to guide us and tell us how we have to go about it and how to be uh, carrying on this, uh, this culture of uh, publishing a newsletter. Bupesh, have some words yeah. about this. Uh, uh, to, at the outset, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to this uh, inaugural meeting. Uh, thank you, Vinay. Thank you, uh, um, Ashish sir. And thank you, Ashutosh and Sanjay sir and all of you there. Um, I am just going to say what uh, my president told, president of Tamil Nadu Arthroscopy Society. It always uh, looks like seeing Tamil Nadu Arthroscopy Society whenever I see uh, uh, the UP Society because uh, UP Society is vibrant. You've been doing your monthly meetings and um, I, I will uh, not say I'm here to uh, give you some uh, tips on how to do it. In fact, I am now... Uh, I, I am now jealous because you have started the uh, uh, newsletter first before Tamil Nadu can. And I think this kind of a healthy relationship where, you know, we would learn from each other. And this is a nice idea for Tamil Nadu to follow. Uh, I think that kind of a healthy relationship is what I have with UP. And I'm very happy that you have started uh, in, a, in, a, in a, the newsletter. Congratulations to the whole team. And I'm very sure you're going to do, keep up the good work. And uh, thanks for inspiring us so that we can follow it up soon. Thank you all again. Thank you, Bhupesh. With us, we have uh, Dr. Ranjit Panigrahi. Uh, he's a very good friend. Ranjit, you there? Hello, yeah. Ranjit. Binan, can you hear me? Yeah, I think he is one of the friends who is very academic. Very, uh, You will see him in all kinds of conferences, delivering lectures and very academically oriented. Ranjit, uh, you must say a few words and encourage us uh, in publishing this newsletter and and be regular with it. Yeah, thank you, Vinay, and uh, Ashish sir, and the whole uh, UP association for calling me for this meeting. And uh, I congratulate uh, Ashish sir, Vinay, and Rajat, and uh, all the office bearers and the members of uh, UP society for this wonderful initiative. And uh, thinking of a newsletter uh, quarterly with quarterly edition is a great thing. And uh, Bina and how how and the whole uh, UP association has done that. And with the newsletter, not only the we get the um, articles from the stalwarts on the board, but also the younger generation they get inspired from these articles, and they can write uh, their article, which is just a step uh, before uh, writing for the journals, and they will be encouraged to write the articles for the journals also. So it's a uh, wonderful initiative, like uh, Dr. Amit told, to maintain uh, this is very difficult. But I think uh, with the vibrant society like UP Arthroscopy Society, uh, headed by Pro uh, Professor Asis Kumar and uh, uh, Dr. Binay Rajat and all the um, office bearers and members, they will take it forward. And uh, I hope it will be a great uh, success. And I congratulate all of them uh, for this great initiative. 
and uh, from me whatever uh, best possible uh, i can uh, help you out and i am there always with bina bina is a very good friend of mine and asis sir is very close to us he had been to us as a uh, external and as a friend to bhubaneswar puri many times so i will be there with the up arthroscopy society and uh, i congratulate again and thank you all for calling me thank you thank you so much ranjit so i think we heard uh, quite good words with everybody uh, i have, up have a fellowship we are running currently having four fellows and we are in process to associate with the state associations of arthroscopy to have a regular exchange kind of fellowship this is next in line so next 6 months 3 months we are going to plan an association with different associations so that we our fellows can go there and their fellows can come to us for a exchange fellowship type of program so uh, this is a newsletter which is be which is going to be three monthly basis but later on this is going to take a shape of a of a journal as suggested by ocean sir this is already we are working on it so i think uh, this is uh, what was meant for today ashish sir i think we will give a closing remark and then we can close off uh vinay i am grateful to all the speakers who have praised us all and uh, for the newsletter as well and we all are knit together and we are all in good uh, relations with each other helping each, each of us for their newsletter as well and for ours of course they are all with us so i am unable to call ranjit this time but i hope next time he will be here so thank you very much dr amravati and dr sundar are meeting again uh, on the 5th so welcome you all to lucknow and uh, thank you very much when i just uh, to finish off with the things sir was one last request i forgot uh, so uh, sundar sir amravati sir amit sir maishuri sir ranjit bupesh everyone who so we plan to have a review article in every newsletter from uh, you stalwarts of arthroscopy so we would request you to come up with a review article so we will have our own cases and one review article with the national faculty so i think uh, i will get in touch with uh, amravati sir sundar sir ranjit amit sir and uh, bupesh and so that we can get my sure sir get some article from you as a review article for that particular edition and then we will have our own cases so with that uh, i expect uh, I, you all will help us so with this i would like to close the session thank you everyone for joining and it was a great uh, to have all of you with us keep guiding us and and thank you so much good night thank you vinay thank you all the best thank you vinay bye bye good night sir thank you and all the best Thank you everyone. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Nice, I, I, nice I, I, to I, see Amravati sir and everyone, 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 you know. Thank you. 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 Thank you.